Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In an earlier video, I set up my Square account. I figure now that it's set up and I had a sale of a dollar, also known as a sale to myself, that I should take a look and see, maybe I can demonstrate how to get this integrated with QuickBooks Online. I, I do want to stop and say, when we're doing bookkeeping for people, we don't integrate Square with QuickBooks Online. We go in after the fact and make journal entries because it's easier and cleaner and it's our preference. But some people like and want to integrate it. So I thought I'd just demonstrate how to do that. I know from the Square Marketplace, you can find QuickBooks, but, but I think I'm more comfortable navigating stuff in QuickBooks. So I'm just going to use this as my starting place. So let's go to Bank Transactions. And that way, so I can get to App Transactions on the top. I have all these different options. I'm going to connect Square. Quick side note, I want to go to apps.com and I want to show you all the ways you can connect Square because this is not the only one. Square, I'm just going to click. There's 29 different ways. So I'm going to show you the Square integration, but, but there are lots and lots of solutions. Um, it just, it is in a niche that most of our clients have. Um, okay, so I'm going to click on get started. Uh, it says you can get connected. I'm like, yep, let's give permission. This just going to go into my YouTube account, not my real QuickBooks. So if anything goes horribly wrong, I'll be able to fix it. No problem. Should be fine. A pop-up appeared and then disappeared. And it says you might need to enable pop-ups. And I'm like, uh, I don't want to. In the upper right-hand corner of my screen, in the browser um, where I type in the web address, there's like a, a square with a slash through it. I'm just going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on the pop-up and see if I can get this to work without allowing all the pop-ups ever to show up. I'm going to go ahead and enter my email address and then select next. LastPass is going to fill in my password, which I appreciate. And then I have to get a secret code. I'm just going to have it text me the code. Uh, I'm going to go to my, I might. Um, work phone and my personal phone both on my desk, but my, my personal phone is easier to get to. So if you don't use two-factor authentication, I definitely, definitely encourage you to do it. E using two-factor authentication can be kind of a, a pain in the butt and slow you down. But on the other hand, I, I would rather be slow down and know that my stuff is secure than to chance it and hope for the best. So I'm going to click on view dashboard. Here's what it wants to do. Um, so as I look through this, this all seems fine. So I'm going to select allow. Now I'm wondering if I should have just any, like, let it do the pop-ups. So give permission, try again. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, let me refresh. Okay. So get started, get connected, give permission. My square account can have different locations. I only have one location, so I'm, I'm just going to pick it. And then it says select an account. Um, so select the square locations you want to sync and then for each one, select the bank account where you deposit the funds. We'll just put it into checking one, two, three, four. In real life, the square account is tied to my real bank account. But this is just saying, hey, when Square sends that information to QuickBooks, where should it go within QuickBooks? It's not asking me where does it go in real life so that you have that money to spend on your bills and so forth. So I'm just going to say, well, in QuickBooks land, let's use this checking account. I'm going to go ahead and select next. And then how do you want to record your sales? Um, record sales individually or a sales summary? Let's do individual, um, which I really think is not the way that I would do it. But my Square account has one sale to me, so it's perfect for this. So I'm going to go ahead and select next. How far back do I want to go? Beginning of the year is fine. If I wanted something different, these are my options. So I'll click finish. So this really has been a nice experience. Um, I appreciate how smooth it's gone. Let's go to check it out. 
So this um, screen you're looking at, you might be more familiar with it from the bank transactions. If you go to the second tab to app transactions, that's where this information lives. So um, it may take a while to bring all the transaction in. That's fine. I'll make a different video on a different day with the $1 charge I made just a couple hours ago. But I just wanted to show you how to get it set up, um, how to get it added to your QuickBooks. If we click on the gear, we can change stuff. So like earlier I said individual transactions and this checking account, this is where we can go to change. Oh, we can't change the individual. I guess that's set in stone. Um, let me look. Yep. Well, I guess if we hated it, we could disconnect and reconnect. So that's it for now. I want to be real clear. I don't integrate Square with QuickBooks. So if you have questions, I'm happy to kind of muddle through it. But this is not my sweet spot. This is not my area of expertise. So sometimes I'm making videos just to help people get like a little bit closer to their goal. And that's what this video is. Just me helping you get a little closer to understanding Square stuff. All right. Other than that, if you have questions, leave them down below. If I can't answer them, then I'll try to give you an idea of who might be a better fit to help with that sort of thing. Awesome. Thanks. Bye.